I do have bad news for UConn women's basketball. Azzy Fudge will miss the remaining of the 2023-2024 season due to a medial meniscal tear and a torn ACL in her right knee, which occurred November 14th at, at practice. And she'll have surgery at, at a later date, but this is huge. She hasn't played the last two games, and now we know why. We knew it was a knee injury, it's just a matter of the extent. And unfortunately, it's a season ending one. And they already had one player out for the year in the front court. And Jana L. Alfie, a freshman. In terms of the overall roster, it would be it was 14 initially before those two season ending injuries. Now it's down to 12. So at least they have more depth than compared in the past, but still losing a starter hurts, but I know they got the talent there. And in terms of guard depth, they have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guards. So they still have enough guard depth. That's not the problem. It's the replacing the type of starter she what she is. And in both their games, she averaged 11 points per game. And I know she's not as good as like Paige Beckers has more impact, but Asi Fudd does too. In both the games she played, 11 points per game, 2.5 rebounds per game, 2.5 assists per game, 1 steal per game, 1.5 turnovers per, two per game, 2.5 fouls per game, made both of her free throws, like 2 out of 2, and, but 28.6% from 3 on 14 attempts. However, the previous year she was like 34% from the 3-point line on 100 attempts and 88.2% on the free throw line on 17 attempts. Like, she averaged 50.1 points per game, so, and from the floor this year, she only shot 32%, but the year before was like 45.6. So, you get the point, and she's a 5 foot 11 inch guard. She will get a red shirt year out of this. I can promise you that. It's not early in the year, and yeah, it's just unfortunately for UConn, and I mean, they got Paige Becker back from injury, and now this occurred. Yeah, it's just one of those things. And we're going to have to wait and see how UConn does from here. I mean, ne next game they have to play number two UCLA. And granted, they beat Maryland at home by 32 points. And they beat Minnesota on the road by 18. But you got number two UCLA coming up. I know Keynes has lost to Penn State, but Penn State's undefeated. And both of those games are in the Cayman Islands, by the way, like the UCLA and Kansas game. So, then you got at Texas. I mean, you got Texas that's currently in the number 12, but we'll have to wait and see. In Austin, so we're going to have to wait and see on that. And, of course, they got Ball State. They got, like, a top 20 North Carolina team in the Hall of Fame. Women's Basketball Showcase in Ucanesville, Connecticut. So basically, a home game, even though it's not technically at home in stores. But you get the you get the point, y'all. So they're going to be battle-tested. they got like a top 20 Louisville team at home. But I know nobody, nobody else is ranked right now from the Big East. But, Creighton is receiving votes right now. Marquette is receiving votes. So, and this does impact down the line in terms of NCAA tournament, how far they can they go potentially. They still have the depth. At least that's not a problem. It's just the front court depth, of course, now is taking a little bit of a hit because of that season ending injury earlier. So, and I wish her a speedy recovery. It's never easy to come back from knee injuries, especially torn ACLs. 
and they better not rush her back too quickly because these things does take time it does take time because I've seen play like I know a player that's professionally tore ACL three times within a four two year period yeah and that's one of like two of them occurred within nine months Within each, within each other, so you don't want to rush her back too quick. You just gotta be okay, be accepting of that, and down the line, probably she'll come back before the season starts. But you gotta ease her into it, and I know she's gonna do rehab as well. So, anyways, if you like this content, like and subscribe. In. I see you guys later on the road to 600 subscribers. Score so to me go. Is a thousand more so to make money on this course. Liking a video, commenting a video really helps the YouTube algorithm. Algorithm, so more people could see it. Sharing the video does help as well, so more people could watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit subscribe button. It's free, and hit the notification bell as well.